All right, this is series one. No, series, series, video one, video one. This is video one in the Road to Romaniac series for Heavy Enduro. So um, probably, I don't know, two or three months ago, end of last year, Corey from Camel ADV sent me a message. He said he wanted to race Romaniacs. And uh, I checked with the wife and we were in. So <laughs> we didn't take long to decide that we were going to do it. Um, and, uh, right off the bat, I, I obviously immediately had concerns about, you know, my bike, my physical conditioning, how are we going to get the bikes there? Uh, most people basically rent bikes and just bring their suspension and throw their suspension on bikes. And we have to ship our bikes because no one's going to rent us 10 arrays in Romania. So that was kind of a, a big financial challenge and a big scheduling challenge to get a bike from here uh, shipping it through Canada, uh, then to Vienna, Italy, and then getting it to the race and then, and then back home. So I think that was kind of my biggest logistical concern with the trip. Um, my other main concern was, uh, my physical ability. I know that I've been slacking on kind of working out and staying in shape to ride such a big bike. So I immediately, within like three weeks or so, uh, I found a, a local physical trainer and started working with him to kind of develop a program. He's not motorcycle specific physical trainer, um, but I kind of went over my needs and riding positions and what I'm gonna be doing. And I showed him a lot of videos and you know, we're, we're working on a plan together um, and it's pretty dynamic. It's changing, you know, every day. Uh, or every week, I should say, as I maybe, you know, do some workouts and then go on a ride and then tell them, you know, what's bugging me and then, you know, do some more workouts, go on another ride, tell them what's bugging me. And we've been able to kind of narrow some areas down that I definitely need some work on. But I think the biggest thing is going to be endurance. Uh, Romania is 120-ish clicks a day, which is like 80 to 90 miles a day for four days plus a prologue. So um, from a longevity standpoint, that's pretty it's pretty intense it's a lot of riding um, from what I'm understanding uh, the biggest hurdles are the uphills and the downhills just go on for days so it's uh, a lot of extremely steep downhills with a lot of standing in a downhill hill position for I mean, some guys have said some downhills are 45 minutes straight of just all downhill steep downhill so that's on a big bike, that's gonna be a real challenge. So I think um, between my physical fitness and bike logistics, uh, I, I'm pretty pretty nervous, I'll be honest. Um, luckily, uh, my wife is, is super cool and, and super supportive and she's like a logistics rocket science scientist. So um, that is, is helpful, although I, I, I get nervous leaning on her a lot. So, that leaves like the physical fitness and the bike prep um, a lot on, on my shoulders. And, you know, right now it's February 4th. So we're starting to get pretty close. Uh, it's about five months away. Uh, so I'm definitely getting nervous. I, I was going to ride with Corey, but it sounds like um, he has had some surgery and he might be out. So I might be going on my own. Uh, and that that kind of adds a little bit more nervous just to it it was nice to go with a buddy and kind of share components and share parts and you know kind of throw things back and forth at each other uh for you know moral support um so it's gonna be i think a, a different animal going on my own uh i'm not uh i'm not opposed to going on my own i, I tend to do a lot of things on my own but you know cory this was kind of cory's brainchild so to kind of take it over um a little nervous I mean this will be I've done some seven hour races some 24 hour races I've done a bunch of enduros I'm working on doing some hard enduros uh, but this will be by far the biggest longest race uh, I've ever done I think to prep we've been riding in the west coast so we've driven out to Arizona California uh, we're going to do some riding here in Utah we're actually going to race the grinding stone with Radic. Um, to try and get some more training in. So we're trying to do as much as I can 
to get me uh, as physically and as mentally prepared for this endeavor as possible. But I think I'm, I'm nervous and I'm excited to try it and I'm excited to push myself and push my bike. And I've had a lot of help recently from MX Tech to really up the bike suspension game, which has been huge. I mean, the bike went from riding like a regular Jeep to basically a Baja truck in the desert was what it was riding like last time I was out in California with the new MX Tech suspension. So that's been a game changer, but still I'm very not confident in my riding skills. Uh, and I think I have, though I'm excited and I like the challenge and I really appreciate that level that I'm trying to take it to, I'm still very, uh, how do I put this? I'm still very not confident in my abilities as a rider. Um, as opposed to where I need to be to be able to finish this. Now we're racing. Um, there's basically gold, silver, bronze, iron, and there's one more after that. I can't remember what it is. Uh, the last one they say is basically like a trail rider class. Iron's pretty pretty tough. Pole I think is the first guy to ever do it on a twin cylinder bike. Um, it's not as bad as bronze or silver, um, but it's still gonna be super challenging. So I think doing anything for four days at a race pace is is a big endeavor. So um, yeah, I think, I don't know. It's it's hard to explain. I think it's it's a weird place to be in because I'm used to going to a lot of these, these races and being the only guy on an adventure bike, but I'm used to doing it locally in C-class, you know, with guys that are you know, moderately quick, but nowhere near B and A and pro level guys. So to do it in Romania at Romaniacs, literally next to some of the best riders in the world makes me definitely question and doubt my abilities and my life decisions. But uh, again, I, I think it's a really, I think it's a really important thing to try and have a goal and have a dog that's really loud when you're trying to talk. Bella, relax. So yeah, uh, I think I'll cut that off for now. That's about, that's about all I have. We're still in the early days. There's still a ways to go. I still have a lot of training to do and uh, I still have a lot of bike preparation. Right now the bikes are in. Um, they're in Vegas because we're gonna go and do a, a, another ride in a couple more weeks and then a couple more weeks after that. So trying to get as much as much training as I can even with the winter coming and and or with the winter being here and and definitely trying to I'm even contemplating building a second Tenere buying another Tenere and uh just building a fresh one for the race so that I don't have to worry about anything on the old one since I've really beat that bike hard for about three years um you know there might be some hidden issues that I don't know about the clutch might be going or the frame might be cracked or something devastating might be happening that I'm not really aware of. Um, once I get it back from the West Coast, I'm probably gonna strip that whole thing down anyways and uh, kind of give it a good once over and make sure everything's mint. But you know, there's a lot of riding between now and Romania. So having a fresh one that I can build and take to Romania as just a completely fresh, clean bike uh, I think will alleviate a lot of worries. It's it's a significant amount of money, roughly twenty thousand. So uh, I really don't want to go and leave anything on the table for failure because I might never be able to go again. So yeah, that is basically the first installment of my road to Romaniacs. Uh, it was going to be Maniacs do Romaniacs, but uh, you know. With Corey not coming, I might just do Road to Romaniacs, but see you next time.